and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, we are doing my first impression review and full wear test on the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and concealer. So if you are interested in seeing my opinions and seeing how this concealer and foundation wears together and works on my dry acne prone skin, then just keep on watching. I like to start by going over the product claims and product information so that we know what we're testing and what the claims are that we're looking for. The foundation on Ulta retails for $15.87 Canadian dollars and the concealer is priced at $13.22 Canadian dollars. You get 13 grams in the concealer and then you get 23 milliliters in the foundation, which is 0.7 fluid ounces, which isn't a full fluid ounce. That's a little disappointing. Typically in a foundation, you'd get a full fluid ounce and this one is 0.7. So from what I can tell here, the shade range doesn't seem to be amazing. I can't tell exactly how many shades it comes in because it only shows five at a time, but there's about three deep options, like four medium dark options, and then there seems to be a lot of light medium options. I picked up F1 in the foundation and C1 in the concealer, which are both the lightest neutral options, and I am fake tanned right now, so I am quite a bit darker on my body than my face, but we'll just work with it and add some bronzer because this is going to be my like everyday go-to shade. This Conceal and Hydrate Foundation has been specifically formulated to suit every skin type and tone, but it is particularly beneficial for dry skin. With hyaluronic acid, it offers all day long radiance and glow without setting into fine lines or clinging to dry patches. This foundation offers medium to full coverage. So I love the sound of that. Basically, the only claims are that it is for every skin type, it won't cling to your dry patches, and that it will offer medium to full coverage. So it doesn't really say anything about longevity. So now let's check out the concealer claims in comparison to that. It covers blemishes, even skin tone and counteracts dark circles while drenching skin with moisture. Wow, that is an intense description. That sounds amazing. For drier skin, the sheer satin finish won't settle into fine lines and the doe foot applicator allows for a smooth, delicate application. So I feel like this one has a little more claims to it because it says it'll cover blemishes, it'll even skin tone, it will counteract dark circles, it'll moisturize, it won't go into fine lines. So this one seems like it's really geared towards dry skin, whereas this one's says that it's for every skin type, but mostly for dry skin. For the wear test, it is currently 131. So by the time everything is set in, I feel like it'll be two o'clock. So we will call the foundation concealer check-in time two o'clock and I will wear this as long as I can. So again, if you've watched any of my foundation reviews, you would know that I always, always start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This one actually works out really well because it has hyaluronic acid in it, which the foundation and concealer also are infused with hyaluronic acid. So I feel like that's a really good mix. So it'll go well together, hopefully. I have really dry skin and I just feel like it helps to prep my skin and I use it every time I'm testing a new foundation or concealer just because I know exactly how it performs, how it works on my skin so I know if it's the foundation acting weird or the concealer because I know how this works. And I always, always apply my foundation and concealer with a Real Techniques beauty sponge so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can just tell that that's going to be full ass coverage. I'm really excited about this. I have very high hopes. This is how the foundation looks with just one layer applied. I've been looking at it in the reflection of my MAC Studio Fix powder and it laid down so nicely on my skin. Like, do you see? There's a healthy glow and like a luminosity. It's definitely dewy, but not like insanely so. It just looks so pretty and like even looking at my skin up close, it looks so skin-like. Even between my brow, that is my worst problem area on my face and it looks so smooth. It's just laying so nicely. I put a little on my eyes. Definitely the shade match is very good for me. I know most of you watching are going to be like, girl, 
your face is so much lighter than the rest of you but that is just based on the self tan and I honestly am never self tanned. Now we're going to move into the concealer because this is so pale I'm worried that this is going to lighten things up even more but we can fix it all with powder and bronzer so I'm not too worried. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my blemishes first and blend them out and then we will do my under eye. That's just how I usually like to do things. This is how we're looking with the concealer applied on my acne spots. I think it did a really nice job of giving those areas more coverage. It looks super smooth, blending it out on my chin area. My nose looks so smooth and like airbrushed and then between my brows looks the same. I'm super impressed. Now I'm ready to go ahead and just lightly conceal my under eyes. I don't really have a lot of darkness. I'm blessed in that sense, but I just like to do a little bit to add cohesiveness. So I'm just going to do like in this corner and then there. I'm just going to do those areas. And then I am going to set my under eye with the Cody Airspun powder just because that's what I've been doing as of late. I can't really get away with not setting my under eyes. Going in with my Cody Airspun and pressing that under my eyes. So that is how it looks just set with the under eye powder. Now I'm going to quickly powder the remaining portion of my face with my MAC Studio Fix in NC15, just super lightly to help everything blend later on. I think it looks really, really good. Like you guys saw how my skin looked at the beginning and I don't even think you would be able to tell that I have bad skin right now. It just looks so nice. Setting it with powder definitely took away a lot of that luminosity and radiance, but that is just how I like to do my makeup on the day to day. So I wanted to keep it like I normally would. And then I like to add my shine and glow back with blush and bronzer and highlight. So in the end, you'll definitely see that luminosity again but I just love this as a base. I think it looks so good. My under eyes aren't even looking like they're starting to crease at all and I have really, really bad creasing issues usually. It is now almost two o'clock, it is 1.55, so I'm going to go off and do the rest of my makeup. I kind of feel like just playing around today, so I might take a while and see how the products work with the foundation, with the concealer, if we get any creasing. So I'm going to go off camera, play with my makeup, up, finish my look and then I will come back to check in with you guys and let you know how the products have been wearing so I will be back once I've done that it is now almost four o'clock <laughs> I got very distracted I did my makeup for a long little while that was contradictory I did my makeup for a long while my tan has slowly continued to develop and I'm looking very tan I did my best to heavily bronze like everywhere on my neck and stuff but I'm looking very tan but update on the foundation I think it looks absolutely incredible I just took a bunch of photographs and I've been looking in the mirror as I continue to do the rest of my makeup and I think both products look incredible especially I'm like incredibly impressed with the foundation just because the coverage on its own almost doesn't even warrant concealer. You can get away without using it. I just feel like my skin looks so incredible and you guys saw how it looked in the beginning. Like I do not have good skin by any means and I think my face just looks flawless. The only thing is when I was doing my shadow, I did a purple look with the Huda Pink and Purple Neons palette and I put purple in my lower lash line and this eye has been watering like crazy. So I've had to touch up here, but even with that said, you can't really tell and it was really watering. So I am so impressed with this foundation. It's not even funny and with the concealer, it is creasing a tiny bit, but honestly, my foundation creases with absolutely so you can see the wateriness there my foundation and concealer creases with absolutely any concealer so this isn't as bad as many concealers that I use on the regular so that is what we are looking like with it on for like two hours now because I put it on around two and it is now almost four I'm planning to wear this foundation till around 10 o'clock to get a nice eight hour wear test I'll just talk to you guys once it is around 10 but so far so good I'm 
incredibly impressed with both the foundation and the concealer. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, and welcome to the check-in. Sorry that I'm talking a little bit quietly or a lot of bit quietly. My mom is sleeping next door, so I don't want to be too disruptive. It is now 10.44 basically 10:45. so this foundation has been on my whole makeup has been on for almost nine hours now which is a pretty good wear test i have eaten obviously lunch and dinner since this has been on my lip color is gone and i took off my lashes a while ago because they were bothering me i've been looking at my foundation throughout the night and my concealer checking my creasing all of that and overall i think that it looks really good for nine hours Hours of wear it is getting a little bit oily in this area and then in here even though I have dry skin it will get oily in areas that my face produces more oil especially this area at about the six or seven hour mark is when I start to mainly produce my oils and then I do have the tiniest bit of creasing in here and then there is some creasing under my eyes but it's definitely nothing crazy this is definitely an amazing full coverage option while still feeling lightweight and not too heavy and not too thick um, especially in hotter weather it's nice to feel as though you don't have so much makeup on and I definitely feel as though I don't have a ton of makeup on right now I'm gonna go ahead and shower and wash all of this off I've literally just been waiting as long as I could so if you did like this video please be sure to like it give it a thumbs up let me know that you like product review videos I love doing reviews and first impressions and where tests so let me know if you like them these are some of my favorites to do be sure to subscribe if you want already it would really help me out and as always i hope you guys had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching bye